the office? Well, first of all, let's be clear. I'm, I'm talking about photo enforcement because there are a number of, of traffic uh, offenses that can be very uh, capably managed uh, very effectively and mo very economically managed uh, through the use of technology. And, and for example, one of the challenges we face in the City of Toronto is, is traffic congestion. And it's a very significant uh, issue and it impacts on, on the quality of everyone's life and the productivity of the city. And so we enforced our laws with respect to prohibited turns during rush hour, uh, with respect to, to people going through red lights and, 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 and causing congestion by blocking intersections. Um, we do that with, by putting police officers out there currently. Unfortunately, for the police to enforce those laws at that time, we have to pull a car over and take out another lane of traffic. It can, it can actually exacerbate the problem as opposed to, to ease the problem. With the use of technology in those intersections, those offenses can be very effectively uh, enforced. And by putting up signs, I think we, people can be encouraged to obey the, the rules and therefore help traffic move more, more effectively, help traffic move more safely and get people home on time. And I think, I think it's time to have a discussion about the effective use of, of technology to do jobs that right now we have people, very expensive resources, are doing that enforcement. And that enforcement, I believe, can be done just as effectively using technology. There's also the issue of, of speed enforcement and, and you know, commonly referred to as photo radar. Um, right now we have police officers doing that with, with laser equipment. And, and, you know, that's important work that we do to man maintain adherence to our, our speed limits in the city. But again, through the use of technology, that can be done far more effectively and far more economically. Uh, it, it can be done with, with a certain degree of certainty in, in locations in which it, it, is, it is put up. And it also relieves us of the burden of having to send police officers to court to testify. By encouraging people to obey those laws, and I don't, I don't propose that we would want to sneak up on anybody. Quite frankly, for the police, this is not an issue of, of, of budget. It really is an issue of, of getting the job done as efficiently as possible and as economically as possible. Police resources are expensive. A police officer is, is, is an expensive resource, and right now the only way to enforce those laws is through the use of a police officer. I know that that can be done very effectively with technology. I think there was concern about, you know, I know there's always been lots of talk about this being about revenue, and for us it is not. Quite frankly, the, the revenue is completely irrelevant to this discussion as far as the police service is concerned. The revenue does not come to the police service, and I have no interest in the revenue coming to the police service. My, my interest is, is, is in the safety of our roadways and the efficient movement of traffic throughout the city of Toronto.